The answer to this question, how do you adjust to wearing your dentures for long periods of time is, you have to treat this journey exactly like you would treat it if you had had a limb amputated and you got a prosthetic limb. A lot of people don't think about it in that way and dentists don't talk about it in that manner. But that's what's going on. We had a part of ourselves removed. It's gone forever. Our teeth, they're gone. They're not going to come back. We have to get through the healing process of having our teeth removed. However number it was, for me it was 28 teeth. So you have to go through that. And it's often very minimized. Eh, they just had their teeth pulled. It was just their teeth. It was just teeth. No big deal. Just teeth. It's a big deal. It is a huge deal to have multiple teeth removed and then have to deal with the, this part of it, which is seeing yourself without having teeth, feeling yourself without teeth, and knowing that you don't have teeth. And then you have to go through the healing process. You have to learn prosthetics. You have to get used to this these bulky things that are in your mouth and you have to adjust to all the things that you did before and doing them with prosthetic teeth. You have so many things. There's just so many things that go with having dentures, prosthetic teeth. They are called fake teeth, false teeth, dentures. They are prosthetic teeth. And I think if that's what they were called, if that was instead of putting these other names to them, dentures, prosthetic teeth, that's what they are. And if we could see them as that way, it, it makes the journey a little bit different. If you had a limb amputated and you got a prosthetic limb, so we'll say if you had your, your leg amputated and you got a prosthetic leg, first, you're going to get therapy for this part of the journey. We don't get that because it's just teeth. No big deal. It's not the same as having your leg amputated. It's, it's just teeth. Well, there's a lot of mental stuff that goes with no longer having your teeth. There's a lot of stuff that goes on up here, but that is not something that is taken into consideration with people on this journey. The second part is you would have physical therapy for learning how to use your prosthetic limb. We don't get that either. There are no classes for people who have prosthetic teeth. Gosh, there should be, shouldn't there? And there's no blueprint. There's no formula. There's no nothing. That is why there are people like me who do videos. There are denture support groups on Facebook. There are so many different denture support groups. Joining them will help with this part of the journey and with trying to figure out the physical therapy part of the journey by reading other people's experiences. But we don't get those same considerations. So here we go. I will give you a quick rundown. If you had a prosthetic limb, you would set goals. You would learn to balance and then you would learn to take steps. And you would set different goals every day, you know, balance for this amount of time and this amount of time and then this amount of time, take this many steps and then this many steps and then walk this dis distance and then this distance and then try to walk upstairs and do a step and then a couple steps and then this much and this much. And you would set goals. Every day would be goals. Every week you would have different things that you would do. That's what you have to do on this journey. On this journey, you have to set goals for yourself. If you can wear your dentures for three hours a day, Wear them for three hours a day until you are comfortable with wearing them for three hours a day. Then move to four hours and then move to five hours. It's not going to happen overnight. It may take a few weeks. It may take a few months. But get yourself up to where it's maybe 12 hours or 14 hours or 16 hours. Not everybody is going to wear their dentures as long as I wear dentures. I sleep with my dentures in. I don't want to muddy this video with explaining why long story short suffers from obstructive sleep apnea my dentures are out I can't breathe when I sleep so I sleep with them in so I had no choice but to adjust to sleeping with them in but you need to set goals and you need to just baby steps just literally take little baby steps and set goals so wear them for x amount of time and even though this isn't part of the question that was asked you have to do that when it comes to eating with dentures as well. So you have to set goals. Eat with your dentures in. Always eat with your dentures in. Always eat with them in. It is easier to eat with them out. If you take them out, you don't have to worry about trying to figure it all out. But how are you going to learn to use your dentures if you're taking them out to eat? Now, if they are causing pain, if they are digging in and they are causing sores, get that looked at, have adjustments made. If they are flopping around, 
look into a product like com uh, Cushion Grip or Denture Fit or realign it or get a soft reline from your dentist. Do that and get those dentures to where they are fitting well so they are not rocking all over the place when you eat. But consistency is key. Setting goals is key. And pushing through. If you do not reach your goals today, do not get defeated. Do not hang it up. Do not feel like you have failed. You're trying. High five yourself. Pat yourself on the back. Every time you try, congratulate yourself because you're trying. And every time you reach a goal, celebrate it. Every time you try, celebrate it because you're working on it. You're trying to get through it. Do not be hard on yourself. Be kind. Be forgiving. It is so important to have yourself be your biggest cheerleader. So you have to be kind, understanding, and forgiving to yourself on this journey because you are not going to get it overnight. If you had a prosthetic limb, nobody would expect you to just do it on your own. But we are expected to do this journey on our own. And that's rough because we don't know what the heck we're supposed to be doing. So wear your dentures. If the only reason that you are taking them out is because they are bulky and they are uncomfortable and it would just be easier to do it without it, keep them in. Just keep them in. I know you're going to want to take them out. Keep them in. And if you're home alone, keep them in. If nobody's around, keep them in. If you want to take them out to eat just because it's going to be easier and you eat something that's substantial, keep them in. How else are you going to learn how to eat with them if you take them out. How are you going to learn to wear them for longer periods of time and longer periods of time each day? By longer periods of, of time, I mean an hour more each day until you have reached whatever goal you have. How are you going to reach that goal if you are taking them out? Consistency is important and approaching this journey in the same manner that you would if you had a limb amputated and you had a prosthetic limb is the way that you need to approach this journey. I think that it is critical to look at it in that manner because that is what it is. You had a part of you removed. You have to deal with this part of it and you have to deal with the physical part of it because you are learning how to use prosthetics. And we have no classes, no help, no therapy. We have to do it on our own. That is unfair, but that is the way that it has been since the beginning of time with prosthetic teeth. And it's probably the way it's going to continue until some major changes are made. But for now, there are lots of people on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram who do videos. Find them. There are a lot of them out there. Join denture support groups on Facebook. These things will help because you will not be alone. You will know that there is a community of people who have been where you are, who are where you are, and who will be where you are. And once you get past all of that, you can help people who are on this journey, who are going to be where you were, and you can tell them how you handled it. So just the key, the key here is just approaching this journey like you would if you had a prosthetic limb. And there are going to be rough days and there are going to be great days. And you need to celebrate every time you set goals, even if you do not achieve them because you tried. And don't only celebrate when you when you reach the goals. Celebrate because you tried. This is a heck of a journey. And it's rough. There are going to be rough days. If you took your dentures out today and you just couldn't wear them for the amount of time that you wanted to wear them, it's okay. There's always tomorrow. Don't be hard on yourself. You're going to get it. It's just going to take time. And the time frame is different for every person. Because... It's not a one-size-fits-all journey. Everybody, if you have 10 denture wearers, you're going to have 10 different stories. So hopefully this helps. I'm going to go ahead and go. I'll talk to you later. Bye.